Polar Bear Cafe came out in January 2023 and is published by Seven Seas Entertainment. Is Polar Bear Cafe worth checking out? Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, this is Mayube and welcome to my channel. Recently I read Polar Bear Cafe and I have a lot of things to say. So I bought Polar Bear Cafe after three months of not buying manga. It's also an anticipated manga release for me this year. I reward myself for not buying a lot of manga, so I will resume my manga buying ban until this summer. Anyway, let's talk about the book. At a glance, this manga looks wonderful. The cover looks great, including the back. If you open it up, it shows a little scene. It is a collector's edition. It has some extra content inside. There are some color pages at the end of the book. I'll show you. There are paper bear crafts you can create. Honestly, I would never cut something out from a manga. It would make me cry inside. But yeah, the manga includes recipes from the story, like how to brew coffee and tea, or even making a Polynesian sauce. So Seven Seas did a good job with this volume. The pages too are super wide and the spine looks great. I think the quality of this volume is very good. Polar Bear Cafe is pretty much what the title says. A polar bear runs a cafe and the story is a slice of life that focuses on the interactions of the animals and some humans who go to the cafe. There are a couple main characters like the polar bear, panda, and penguin. It's fun to see them interact with each other. The series can be wholesome and funny. It's kind of a slow paced series. It can be episodic, but what makes me want to continue reading this series are the characters and the anime. I watched the first three episodes of the show on Crunchyroll, and I think how they introduced the series was better than the manga. I definitely laugh more in the anime. I read the manga first before checking out the show, and it has like 50 episodes, like holy moly. <laughs> I'll definitely continue watching before the second volume becomes available in May of this year. Now, do I recommend this series? Well, if you love slice of life comedies, I highly recommend checking it out. If you're on the fence on reading the manga, definitely check it out at the library or watch the first three episodes of the show. If you like series such as Beastars, Agretzico, I Am a Cat Barista, or even We Bear Bears, you might like this series. And speaking of We Bear Bears, uh, one of the episodes, specifically Season 3, Episode 9, it's called Coffee Cave. So Grizz the Bear made a reference to Polar Bear Cafe when he and his brothers were trying to come up with a cafe name after the success of Ice Bear's Lattes. And Panda or Pan was like, uh, I think that name was already taken already. So... Yeah, I honestly didn't notice that before. I thought it was really cool they included that in the show. I mean, I guess they are aware that that series exists. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed We Bear Bears when it came out in 2015. Ice Bear is my favorite character in the show. I can tell you now that I also like the polar bear character in Polar Bear Cafe. He's very chill and I like his puns. I don't know a lot of Japanese, but I think that the series both the manga and the show can be good setting aids for learning Japanese. Now, why I wouldn't recommend the series. Um, the pacing may be boring for some. It may be inappropriate for younger readers like bars and mild language. Like there's a scene in the book where Grizzly Bear who owns a bar tells one of the patrons to P.O. because the crocodile was scaring Panda and has thoughts on eating him. But yeah, lastly, if you don't like slice of life comedies, you may not like this at all. The comedy can be subjective, so I guess skip it. So yeah, I hope this video helped a little to decide if this series is for you. For me, I really enjoyed it. I think that it helped me cure my Wee Bear Bears withdrawal. I'm going to continue this series by reading and watching. But yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!